So, let me make sure I understand. All I do is skip breakfast, and I lose weight, and my health improves? Okay. Hi, I'm Laurice. That's really all I knew about intermittent fasting, otherwise known as IF. Everything about it sounded like just one big infomercial to me. And like you might have been, I was pretty skeptical. But I was also really curious and I needed to lose 16 pounds. So I decided to give it a try. So in this video, I'm going to share my fasting experience from the very good to the very frustrating. The first thing I did was buy a book, The Eight Hour Diet by David Zygzinko. And the cover kind of sounded like an infomercial. Watch the pounds disappear without watching what you eat. But something else on the cover really caught my attention. Reduce the risk of cancer. As someone who's had cancer, my whole life is about not getting cancer again. So if I can do something to reduce my risk of cancer and lose weight, win-win. Sign me up. So I got started. The book outlined the method of 16-8, which means in a period of 24 hours, you're fasting for 16 and eating in a window of eight. And of that 16, you're sleeping for a good chunk of that, so it felt pretty doable. So two weeks go by, and I noticed three things. One, my energy went way up. Number two, my head felt really clear. Number three, I was craving less sugar. And that's really unusual because I have a huge sweet tooth. So all three good things. So I get on scale expecting something and I get nothing, nothing, zero, not even a quarter of a pound. Hmm, hmm. So I'm thinking maybe I've got to give it some more time. So I continue on about two more months. Still feeling good, it's going well. I get on the scale, nothing, nothing. So now I'm a little frustrated. I'm thinking maybe this whole fasting deal's good for health, but not so good for weight loss. But then I got to thinking again, and I'm thinking, why is 16 hours the magic number? Is it one size fits all? So I decide to be a guinea pig and try a little experiment. I decide to add two hours. Instead of doing 16-8, I decide to do 18-6. Why I chose two more hours, I have no idea. I think I thought it might have sounded vaguely reasonable. So I get started with 18-6. It's all good. A week goes by. I'm pretty curious. So I get on the scale. I've got pretty low expectations, but to my surprise, I lost three pounds. That's insane. All I did was add two more hours. I was eating the same amount of food. I was just eating it within a window of six hours as opposed to eight. That's all. Oh, and side note, if you're wondering if I was exercising during this whole time, I was not. I live in New York, so I walk a lot, but beyond that, I wasn't doing anything extra. So at this point, when I see this weight loss, I decide I better start keeping a chart because I'm a dork. So let's take a look. So, July 2019. I'm doing 18.6, and as you can see here, my weight steadily dropped. The amount varied from about a quarter of a pound to a pound. So by December 2019, I'm down 10 pounds. This is great. I've only got six more to go. Now, this might seem like a really slow weight loss but I'm pretty sure slow is considered safer, so I was cool with that. Now here's where things get interesting. In January 2020, 
I was about to start a four month project and it had a really rough schedule. Now I could have kept up 18 six fasting, but it was gonna make a really rough schedule a lot rougher. So I decided to do another experiment. I decided to stop fasting and see what happened. Can you guess? If you guessed gain weight, bam, you are correct. I gained five pounds. Now to note, again, my food didn't change that much. Instead of eating in a six hour period, my eating was spread probably over 12 to 14 hours. Another interesting thing is that besides gaining five pounds, I got sick twice during those four months. It wasn't COVID, but it was still, I got sick twice. And the whole time I'd been fasting previously, when I was doing 18 six every day, I never got sick. So that was interesting. So May, 2020, my project's done. I no longer have this crazy schedule. So I start back on my 18 six schedule. Immediately, my weight starts dropping again. And it's slow but steady. And by October 2020, I'd reached my goal weight. So it took a while, but again, I felt good about it. It was slow and that was fine. And there you go. From July 2019 to October 2020. And there we go, right in the middle. You can see that period that I stopped straight back up, fasting straight back down. So all my experiments prove to me that it's not what you eat, but when. Also, big disclaimer, I am neither doctor nor medical professional of any kind. And you should definitely talk to yours before starting any type of fasting regime at all. If your doctor says it's cool and you're looking to try this out, here are my top tips. Number one, start slow. Try 12 hours, then 13, then 14. See how you feel at every step of the way. My magic number was 18. Yours will probably be different. It's a really personal thing and it's definitely not one size fits all. Number two, drink a ton of water, a ton. I'm not talking just eight glasses. Your goal should be more like a gallon. I know it's a lot, but drinking a lot of water will make all the difference in your fasting experience. It helps with everything from cravings to hunger to headaches. It just makes the whole thing a lot better. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Number three, be mindful of beverages. If you enjoy a glass of wine or a cocktail in the evening, have that within your eating window. Anything that you consume over 50 calories outside of your eating window is going to break your fast. So a typical glass of wine has about 120 calories. So if you drink that outside of your eating window, you've broken your fast. So have your beverages within your eating window. Number four, be flexible. If you have a dinner, an event, a party, anything to go to in the evening that involves food, go. Go eat and enjoy yourself. That's the great thing about fasting. It's flexible and you can adjust it to your lifestyle. You can always fast a few more hours the next day or you can skip a day completely. It's not a problem. Adjust it to your own lifestyle. Nothing is ruined by skipping a day. The most important thing is to be kind to yourself. With that thought, I will conclude. Thank you so much for watching. If you've tried fasting yourself, please share your experience in the comments below. Also, fasting's had such a big impact on my life. I'm gonna do a three part series. What you're watching now is part one. In part two, I'm gonna talk about my favorite tools and apps. And in part three, I will do a day in the life. So stay tuned for those. Until next time, stay well, and I will see you soon. Bye.